Hello, hello guys. Uh, it's me again. It's Bongi. Today we gonna go through a charging circuits. I remember on my last video, I think I was uh, I was doing the same thing. I was uh, covering up the charging circuits for a laptop. But anyway, I'm gonna go more into details. All right. Step number one: you start on your DC jack, on your DC inputs from the from the charging ports, and there it is. It says uh, 18 volts DC direct current uh, DC input. This is an, an adapter. This is where you connect your adapter. And after that, you will. I think you will have um, a fuse or coils or a diode. But it depends before you reach what? Before you reach the first MOSFET. But some machines don't have those components. Uh, I think you will just have the first MOSFETs. And after first MOSFET, you will have what? You will have the second MOSFET. In case, this is where this is a case. Uh, if your laptop is not turning on at all, there's no power, there's no 19 volt, there's no charging lights. We have to start there on the first MOSFET. After the first MOSFET, you move on, you go into a second MOSFET. There on the current center, you will have 19 volts if those two MOSFETs are working. In case you have a short, I mean, in case you have a you have zero volt there on the current center or after a, a second mosfet you have to check for a short to ground that might be a cost because if there's a short to ground the charging chip is so smart it's gonna turn off uh the second mosfet or the first mosfet it won't allow power to to pass through i did cover up uh charging circuits uh on my last video i think it was lesson number seven i can't remember but I did mention that the AC OK is the signal coming from the charging chip going into a MOSFET in a form of a gate to allow the 19 volts to go through all over the motherboard. And the AC in is coming from the from those MOSFETs. But again, it doesn't come from gates. It's some sort of a sensor. They can, uh, uh, they, I mean, it can communicate direct with a chip to see if the 19 volts is flowing or not. And I did mention that the charging AC, uh, chip sent out a signal to a startup chip saying the AC is present. That signal is so important for a laptop to turn on or to charge the battery. If that signal is not there, you will have some issues on your laptop. For example, it won't turn on or if it does turn on, it won't charge the battery because it can't recognize, it doesn't recognize what the, the charger section. And I did uh, specify that the charging light, the charging LED, is comes from, from the startup chip. The signal that is uh, has been given out by what? By startup chip. I even cover up um, on, I mean, um, uh, on how the laptop communicates with the battery. Uh, for example, if these data lines are missing, the laptop will not be able to what? To communicate with a battery. It won't even recognize whether the battery is connected or not and if it does show a battery it won't charge the battery at all but uh, believe me it won't detect the battery it will say battery is not connected whereas the battery is what is connected all right let's move on in a case where a laptop is not charging the battery what do you do you check those two mosfets uh, number three and four you have to check uh, we have to change them if it's possible as well, but you'll have to check for what for resistance to, to ground. See what ohms are you getting there. If it's less than 100, you change uh, both of them or you change one of them. But it depends. I showed you how to check the uh, faulty, uh, faulty MOSFETs, but you'll have to check uh, those guys. And then once you are done, you move on. There will be a case where the laptop doesn't turn on with a battery. It's very rare, but again, you have to know this in case if the laptop doesn't turn on with a battery, is exactly what you have to do. You have to change that MOSFET there because it allows the laptop to work with batteries, allows the 10 volts to go all over the motherboard. So they they put the installed uh, MOSFET there. I'm pretty sure it's a P channel MOSFET because we did speak about those P. And MOSFET and anti MOSFET. I even made an example why they use the N when they use N and when they use B channel MOSFET. Okay, this is a schematic. 
let me show you those components on the schematic maybe you will have a better understanding okay there we go we have the first mosfet after the first mosfet we have what we have a second mosfet let me zoom in this is the first mosfet and it's a p and then mosfets uh not the reason why i did explain on my previous video even now the one that switches between the battery i mean the one that allows the battery voltage to go all over the motherboard it's a p and then mosfet because p and mosfets are known for or a low current they don't create so much current so that's why they didn't use any n channel mosfets there but for a charger section uh, for charging the battery you have to use what you have to use n and then mosfet because we need current there of 5.5 or 6 amps depends uh anyway let's go ahead let's continue guys this is simple very 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 easy uh, i did explain even here uh, okay this is the chip responsible for for charging the battery uh what what can i okay yeah these are the pins ac in dc in those are ac okay oh, we, i did tell you about dc okay i mean uh, this i mean ac okay and dc in or ac in uh in case you forget you can come back here and you can see that ac okay it's a signal sent out by a, um, a charging chip and the uh, ac in it's a signal sent out by a startup chip right so as you will you will get used to this oh uh, okay this is an interesting uh part now a very very interesting stuff this is the 3.3 volts vcc let me explain how the 3.3 vcc is being uh distributed all over the motherboard uh, yeah, i think i did uh cover this yes i did cover this check on my previous video i'm just um um summarizing some few stuff a pch reset resume you see it out okay these are all the pins from the startup chip these are very important pins right a power button to startup chip you can even see that the power button is also communicate with a a pch uh suspend voltage suspend voltage on uh we to check my previous video where i talked about suspend uh, voltages uh pch a power okay pch power okay this is a signal to say pch power is okay power good uh black lights off pk off as these are all the simple simple stuff ec resume reset uh pch all right all right all right we are on system on okay anyway uh yeah let's continue we talked about the bios let me tell you something about the bios chip if the bios chip is corrupted in some cases in most cases uh, as well you will have voltage from pin number one up to pin number three right number four you won't get any voltages because it's ground which is fine as on pin number um pin number five six seven eight you should have some voltages especially on pin number seven and uh and seven and six you should have some voltages there in case if those voltages are jumping like maybe three volt one volt three volt zero you have a corrupted bios there you have to program what program the bios with a new binary files okay we are on it means the cpu is on it's a signal sent by the chip i did explain that power on uh, okay a bridge ram power supply all those things main on system on uh it's just it's a sys on let me show you the signal it, it is s y s on it means the system is on the main system is on this is a signal sent out by what by the chip you have the signal there of it's gonna be 3.3 if i'm not mistaken uh right all right all right all right okay there I was okay this is the step down number one a chip that generates 3.3 volts always and 5 volts always uh right okay in case of this chip uh this chip is gonna give you four 
power it should it's not uh two there, there are people they think this chip give you two this chip doesn't give you two it's give you three it give you four sorry four power supplies two are linear of which is 3.3 .3 and uh five volts and the other two it's same thing but this one the um EWM they are generated by what by the MOSFETs. I'm not sure if you do understand this. The linear one uh will they are always on. Always on. They are called LTO. LTO three for three point three and LTO five. They are also called VREG voltage regulator voltage regulator 5 and voltage regulator 3 okay. anyway uh the startup chip sends a signal to enable what to enable the pwm on the on the chip uh then it's gonna be enable 3.3 .3 and enable what enable 5 5 volts as you'll understand this entire thing oh let me see okay let's see this is it in real life okay i want to explain this uh okay there we are i did mention that with the 3.3 .3 volts you will have 3.3 .3 volts the volts are always the moment you connect the charger you will have a 3.3 .3 there always on and you will have the 3.3 .3 volts suspect 3.3 volt suspend has been controlled by what? By startup chip. Means once you press the power button, this uh, startup chip will send a signal telling the MOSFETs to allow that uh, 3.3 volts always to jump into some other power supply. For example, when your laptop is off, you will see that some laptops, most of them, they won't charge the phone, they won't charge uh, uh, USBs, will be off. Why? It's because we don't want to use volts when the machine is off but when you press the power button five volts always will jump from five volts always and may go straight to five volts suspend so if it would make any sense this is how the chip generates the 3.3 .3 and the five volts you will have two mosfets uh one of them connected to 19 volts and the other one connected to ground they switch on and off have been controlled on upper gate of which is UG and the lower gate of which is LG. So this chip controls them through the gates uh, UG and uh, LG. They turn on and off and then we will have the spark of 3.3 .3 volts and the spark will be pushed by what? By a coil because you know what coil does. They induce the power, they push the sparks, they give uh, power to sparks and then we'll have a solid 3.3 .3 volts always. Same case with the 5 volts, uh, you will have two MOSFETs, one connected to 19 volts and the other one connected to ground and they switch uh, like on and off, on and on, on and off very fast, extremely fast and you'll have a spark of what? A spike of 5 volts, spike of 5 volts will be pushed by what? By a coil because coils, they induce the power, they give power to, uh, to sparks and then you'll have a solid what? Solid 5 volts. Uh, let's see this is it in uh, real life i mean in a schematic let me see if we do have a picture of it of it in a real life i think we do i'm not sure i'm not sure if i know we don't anyway watch my next video where i will do what i will cover step down number number two anyway bye bye guys